Grammy Day, for me at least, starts at 10.30 a.m. and lasts until 2.30 a.m. That is a solid 16 hours. Some of my red carpet interviews are often scheduled to begin at 12.30, and I'm often glad I'm fortunate enough to knock a few of them out early in the day before the carpet traffic gets too insane. It's usually so crowded by 3.30 p.m. that everyone from the security staff to the media becomes a bit burnt out and short-tempered. In fact, one year, Hollywood actor Kevin Bacon nearly knocked me over while plowing through the crowd like an angry smurf. Now that's six degrees. Over the years, what I've found most interesting is that there is more security surrounding the red carpet than there is surrounding the entrance to the White House, or so it seems. Red carpet security employs everything from fake carpets to organized lies and fake directions from event staff to keep fans from getting a glimpse of the action. I think sometimes as entertainers, we forget that we're just that entertainers. It is not like we're influencing world leaders, so why is it possible with just a small amount of effort to disturb an emergency room surgery or a fireman on the job, but nearly impossible for a fan to hop into the background of a celebrity interview? My request while reading this book is to keep such questions in mind. I hope readers will frequently reanalyze their goals to see if their dreams are 